Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rick Boyardi, World Builder, excuse me. And today's video I wanna talk about is, it's your fault, take responsibility. And uh, I do videos for personal development, also for global transformation. Of course, they're both intertwined. If people develop personally, there's a better chance that our global situation will improve. So this one is more focused on personal development. So over there, you see that train over there is, <coughs> excuse me, part of the um, Lexington Minuteman Rail Trail. I'm out here in Bedford, so I rode it from Lexington to Bedford. Um, the thing is, you can ride it all the way from Boston here to Bedford at the train depot, and then it goes two different ways further west. It's, it's amazingly beautiful, incredible. This is where the American Revolution began, right in this neighborhood. Sorry, British people. Um, sorry, Indians. But anyway, let this guy go by. So the, the title, it's your fault, take responsibility. Okay, what's the first step in global, uh, excuse me, in personal transformation? what you get when you go live um, anyway when you take responsibility for everything that happens in your life when you do that that is the exact spot where you can start to make changes so you want to get out of the victim mode and hey I tell you all of these things I, that I share all from hard won, hard fought personal history so everything I've done, if I failed, at least I've failed forward and it qualifies me to be in a position to help the rest of you. So when you take personal responsibility for something, you chose to be there. So the, the entire life, every choice you've ever made, small and big, got you to that place. Some people say that's destiny and it's also you have free will to choose as you please, but you also have a destiny. And that's a bigger topic. It might be that you were born with a destiny or some personal journey you're supposed to do. But all the while, you have free will to make choices along the way. Okay, so something shitty happens. You know what? Don't run. Don't hide from the pain. I want to say embrace it but most people aren't gonna think of it like that because when you're in the heat of it, it doesn't feel like you want to embrace something. There goes the train. So, um, I guess accept it, you know, surrender to it. And feel what you need to feel because only then can the mechanics of the universe start to work for you. And um, how do you get out of something like that? Um, you know that you've heard the term or the saying the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step and that doesn't have to be a physical journey like this bike trail here it can be just an emotional or a spiritual journey or a pain journey or a journey through the valley valley of the shadow of death whatever all kinds of metaphors but the thing is until you accept your situation that you chose take responsibility for it, you start taking those steps. That's all you can do, but you can't take a step if you're stuck in the past or if you're praying for the future and you're just anxious about it. If you're here and now in the real moment, you can make some definite change. So listen, get out of the victim mode, okay? We, we all do it, we've all been there. It usually takes something of a major kick, ass kicking to get you to accept that. But um, you could definitely do it. That's my advice to, for today. It's your fault. Take responsibility. You chose it. But the road to greatness starts right there. All right, fellas. Love to you all. Peace. Take care.